Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and hello from beautiful London. We are going to spend the next five days here with a group of friends and we just checked into our hotel and now we're about to explore the city. So let's go. started at Harrods and spent a couple of hours in there, checked out the Prada cafe but we did not get a table there, you have to make a reservation, which we did, so we have a table for Friday but only for two people, so we thought maybe we might be lucky to just pop in and find a table for all six together but we didn't have any, so we get back there on Friday and after that we had some lovely lunch at Harris Dolce Vita, it's opposite of Harrods, little Italian restaurant and then we went to Sloan Street and did a little bit of shopping or more like window shopping because as you can see I have no shopping bags yet but I tried on a couple of sneakers at Chanel and I'm still thinking about getting one of them, the metallic sneakers, I'll show you a clip of them. They're quite nice because they go a little bit in the beige direction, so let's see if I will pick them up. I'll sleep one night over it and think about it, because it's just the first day and you never know what else you come across. And I'm also not sure about the customs process, I think. That's not the, the best idea to shop that much in London. And now we are on our way back to the hotel. We still need to check in because our room was not ready before. So we are going to do that and chill a little bit, get a shower and then we will head out for dinner. We made a reservation at Bob Bob Rickard. I think this restaurant is known for its press for champagne button, so let's see if we will find it and order some champagne to celebrate our trip here to London. We 
just checked into our room and it looks quite cute but I have to say it is super tiny I didn't expect it to be that small but at least the view is quite nice we are on the last floor on the top floor so we have a beautiful view let's go and check out the bathroom so this is the shower and the sink is actually inside the room and that's it super tiny but super cute and cozy and we are ready for the dinner I switched up my look a little bit I exchanged my top with a little bit more fancy crop top with some more details then I put over a jacket I mean I will not need it now because it's still like 26 degrees but maybe later in the evening wearing the same pants as before switched up my bag to a smaller one this is the Ponce School of Hava bag and I also switched up my shoes and I threw on my Gucci Princeton slippers and for the accessories I am wearing my new Fendi crystal earrings some more crystal rings a my Celine double knot bracelet and still wearing my Celine belt that you've seen before let's go and have some dinner
not pick up the camera and speak to you all day long as we were so busy discovering the city. We did a lot of sightseeing today, all the classics like Piccadilly Circus, we walked down Oxford Street, did a little bit of shopping, went down New Bond Street, we saw Big Ben and Dylan and I. The rest you've seen anyways in the footage that I got. And now we just got ourselves ready for dinner. We have a reservation at the main and I just wanted to quickly show you my look. I am wearing this sparkly H&M jumpsuit. Then I have my Princess Gula hover bag again. Jewelry, the usual stack, my Fendi necklace and my Anina Bing gold necklace. Earrings again, the Fendi crystal ones. Some more crystals around my wrist, Celine double knot bracelet, and I think this is a pair of Crystal Zara heels. Ready for a night out and ready for a good dinner, so let's go and not make our friends wait. just started and we are about to get some breakfast we have a reservation at the ivy at the tower bridge today as always quick fit check today i am wearing my Lueve silk blouse an h&m top a pair of zaro h&m pants then my louis vuitton belt and my chanel 19 bag again and for the shoes, I went for a match with my belt today and I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton slides. I hope they will be comfortable. I have a backup pair with me, so let's see how that will go because we walk a lot. I think we made at least 10 kilometers per day, if not 15, I need to check. We've never used the tube so far, but I actually enjoy it so much. You get to see a lot of the city if you just walk and it's a workout at the same time because we definitely also enjoy lots of good food here. Yesterday we had dinner at the main and let me tell you it was absolutely amazing. So this is a really a recommendation. The location was amazing. It's such a pretty place. We had some live jazz music and the food was also absolutely delicious. Couldn't have been better. All right, let's start this day and get some breakfast.
doing a voiceover as at some point I just forgot to talk to the camera so we started our next day with a very fashionable breakfast at the Prada Cafe at Harrods. We had some avocado toast, an on brand cappuccino and tartlet which were super yummy. And of course I also had to take a box of chocolates back home. update our last day in London just started and I really have to admit that I missed out on talking to you guys in this video but I just enjoyed London to the fullest and if you are in a bigger group it's sometimes hard to take time to speak a little bit but I just wanted to give you a little heads up yesterday we went to Camden Market and then checked out Covent Garden and then we also went to the Goyat store where I found a little something to bring back home. And then we did a beautiful walk through the St. James Park, which was absolutely amazing. You have a perfect view on the London Eye there. And then we ended our day with one last cocktail on the Leicester Square rooftop. And it was absolutely amazing. This is really a rooftop bar that I can recommend because you have a full view over London and you basically see all the main sites such as Big Ben, the London Eye, the Shard, like you really have a very good overview on this rooftop. Our preferred rooftop would have been the rooftop, it's called like this, but it was closed because there was a private event happening. So this was our second choice, but I have to say that it was a really good choice and we did not make any reservation. So it was also fine to just pop in and we also got a table, so I can recommend that and it was a perfect ending to our stay. Today we still have Notting Hill on our plan. My friends would like to go to the Portobello market. I think it is a vintage kind of flea market but I'm not 100% sure. I will just let myself be surprised what they're up to and other than that there's also the Trooping the Color Parade today. We did not really plan to go there. We were not even aware that it will be happening during our trip, but we found out a few days ago. So maybe we'll pass by and try to catch a view of the king. Let's see if this would be possible. I mean, I have little hopes to be honest because I think it will be very crowded. It's a major event of the royal family, but I think it would be such a pity to miss out on that one. So we will definitely stop by and see what we will see. And other than that, I think that's it. We will check out of our hotel now, leave our luggage there and then head to the market. Quick stop to show you our neighborhood. So this is just around the corner from our hotel. Very pretty. Quick update 
did, we skipped the Portobello Road Market to still make it on time to see the Air Force fly by. So currently we are on the mall approaching Buckingham Palace where the royal family should be on the balcony to watch the Royal Air Force. Let's see if we can get some footage. There's so many people here. We'll see what we will see. On our way back home, we stopped by the Chanel boutique at the Heathrow airport and again I came across this pair of sneakers that I already tried on before in the city but again I let them go and I'm not sure if I regret this decision because looking at the footage later I still like them but let's see maybe I'll come across this pair in the future once again in another Chanel boutique. I think they picked them up to the classic collection because I've seen a couple of variations of them. Anyways, that's the footage that I got from our trip to London. I hope you enjoyed watching it guys and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss out on my upcoming videos. Thank you and goodbye!